What's up, y'all? Hey, guys. Y'all know us. Yep. And you know it's time for Faulty Towers Series 2. Yes. And starting with Episode 1, Communication Problems. Yep. And yes, we know that last one uh, wasn't <laughs> quite uh, up to snuff because we couldn't find the actual version of it, but... We care about consistency around here, and it's something we pride ourselves on, so... We had to go in order. Exactly. We're not We're not going to go out of order <laughs> no. for it. And plus, like I said in one comment, this is a sitcom. It's not the Mona Lisa. Correct. So let's go. Let's do it. Three, two, one. How's the volume? Notice the L is, uh, is down. Number 17, please. Thank you. Goodbye, thank you so much. Hello, Forty Towers. Oh, hello, Mr. Hawkins. I've arranged your car for two this afternoon. Thank you. Well, Sorry you did say today, Mr. Oh, Hawkins. Right. Uh, you do accept checks. With a banker's card, yes. Well, we'll have to cancel the order then. Yes. Yeah. No, no, five o'clock will be fine. Goodbye. Oh, Polly, Brenda mm. can't start till Monday, so would you mind doing the rooms until then? Oh, no, I can do with the money. Oh, good. There you are. Thank you, Mr. Gardley. Oh, hello. Uh, can I help you? Yes. Yeah. Go. Would you give me change for this, please? In one moment. I'm just dealing with this gentleman. Yes, Mr. Thurston. What? Thank you. I was wondering if you I need change for this. In a moment, I'm dealing with this gentleman. But I have a taxi driver waiting. Surely this gentleman wouldn't mind if you just gave me change. Do you? No, no, go ahead. Oh, my God. Thank there you. you are. Can you tell me how to get to Glendower Street? I've booked a room and bath with a sea view for three nights. Glendower Street? Yes. You haven't finished with me. Mrs... Mrs. Richards. Mrs. Alice Richards. Mrs. Richards, Mr. Thurston, Mrs. Richards. Mr. Thurston is the gentleman I'm attending to at the moment. What? Mr. Thurston is the gentleman I'm attending to. Don't shout, I'm not deaf. Mr. <laughs> Thurston was here before you, Mrs. Richards. But you were serving me. I gave you change, but I hadn't finished dealing with him. Oh, now, Glendower Street is just... Is there anyone Richards else in attendance here? Really, this is the most appalling service what I've ever... What a good done. idea. Manuel... Could you lend Mrs. Richards your assistance in connection with her reservation? So, this is what we call these days a Karen. Yes. A Karen out in the wild. <laughs> yes. <sighs> wow. A very quiet room with a bath and a sea view. I specifically asked for a sea view in my written confirmation, so please make sure I have it. Hey. 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 See. Casey. Casey. Casey, what are you trying to say? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. What? K what? C. K what? C K what? Yes. C K what? K. Oh, Manigan. He is. Ah, Mr. Forty. What? Forty. What are you talking about, you silly little man? What is going on here? I ask him for my room, and he tells me the manager's a Mr. Watt, aged forty. Oh, forty. Forty? What's wrong with him? All right, Mrs. Richards. He's from Barcelona. The manager's from Barcelona? No, no, no. He's from Eswanich. And you're in 22. What? You're in room 22. Manuel, take these cases up to 22, will you? Smart. Very nice stay, Mr. Fawlty. Ah, oh, glad you enjoyed it. Polly, would you get Mr. Perkins' bill, please? Well, when will we be seeing you again? Oh, not for a few weeks. Oh. You're not by any chance a betting man, Mr. Fawlty. Um, uh, well, I used to be. <laughs> Only had a very nice little filly running at Exeter this afternoon. Really? Dragonfly. Dragonfly? Yeah. It's well worth a flatter. But paid the tax on it before. Well, delighted you enjoyed your stay. Yes. Very nice. Hope to see you again before long. Oh, there you are. Thank you. Hi, Mrs. Faulty. Goodbye, Mr. Perkin. Satisfied customer. We should have him stuffed. <laughs> oh, Mr. Faulty. Three o'clock exit. Dragonfly. What? Yes. Jolly good luck with it. Oh. Major. Good morning, Faulty. What was that about the three o'clock exit, Basil? Oh, some horse he's going to bet on, I expect. Eh? You're looking very spruce this morning, Major. St. George's Day, old boy. Really? Got a horse, have you? What's his name? Did you catch it, Bill? The... Dragonfly, Major. Oh. No, Basil doesn't bet any more, Major, do you, dear? No, I don't, dear. No, no, that particular avenue of pleasure has been closed off. <laughs> <laughs> Of course it has. We don't want it opened up again, do we, Basil? No, you don't, dear. No. Great warning off of May the 8th. Yes. Good old St. George, eh, Major? Mm -hmm. He killed a hideous, fire-breathing old dragon, didn't he? And it threw with the lance, I believe. Uh, Mr. Faulty, Mr. Faulty, yes. is, is Mrs. Uh, Rome no like she wants to speak to you? Is problem. Uh, ever see my wife make toast, Polly? <laughs> Why did he kill it? I don't know, Major. Better than marrying it. Marrying it? But he didn't have to kill it, though, did he? He could have, uh... 
Just not turn up at the church. Oh my God, he's gonna. Good morning, madam. Can I help you? Are you the manager? I am the owner, madam. What? I am the owner. I want to speak to the manager. I am the manager too. What? I am the manager as well. Manager, he manager. Oh, what? I'm the manager. What? I'm the manager. Yes, I know. You've just told me. What's the matter with you? Now listen to me. I booked a room with a bath. When I book a room with a bath, I expect to get a bath. You've got a bath. I'm not paying seven pounds twenty pence per night plus VAT for a room without Where a bath. Where is your bath? Wow, seven twenty for a room? <laughs> Wow. Times have changed. Yep. <laughs> you better get a bath with oh that God. one. I think we're about to see. I, oh. You call that a bath? It's not big enough to drown a mouse. I wish you were a mouse on a train. I asked for a room with a view. Mad and blind. Uh, this <laughs> is the view as far as I can remember, madam. Y yes, this is it. When I pay for a view, I expect something more interesting than that. That is Torquay, madam. But it's not good enough. Well, may I ask what you were expecting to see out of a talky hotel bedroom window? <laughs> Sydney Opera House, perhaps? The hanging gardens of Babylon? Herds of wildebeest sweeping majestically? <laughs> I expect to be able to see the sea. You can see the sea. It's over there between the land and the sky. I need a telescope to see that. Well, may I suggest that you consider moving to a hotel closer to the sea? Or preferably in it. Now, listen to me. I'm not satisfied. But I've decided to stay here. However, I shall expect a reduction. Why? Because Krakatoa is not erupting at the moment? Or... <laughs> because the room is cold, the bath is too small, the view is invisible, and the radio doesn't work. No, the radio works. You don't. What? <laughs> so uh... I can fix it, you scabby old bastard. I think we got something then. What? <laughs> I think we got something then. What are you doing? <laughs> don't think me rude, but may I ask, do you by any chance have a hearing aid? A what? A hearing aid! Yes, I do have a hearing aid. Would you like me to get it? <laughs> it's working perfectly all right. No, it isn't. I haven't got it turned on at the moment. Why not? The battery runs down. Now, what sort of a reduction are you going to give me on this room? 60% of you turn it on. What? My wife handles all such matters. I'm sure she will be delighted to discuss it with you. I shall speak to her after lunch. You heard that all right, didn't you? What? <laughs> Thank you so much. A lunch will be served at half past 12. See, are you going to the betting shop today? What? Oh, don't you start. You go betting shop today. Oh, see, betting shop, see, see, see. Now, I want you to put this on this little horse. Dragonfly, but big secret. Sybil. Oh, my God. This... That last scene is the way to deal with an unruly customer in any, any way. This is oh. what I wanted to tell pissy customers yes. in all the retail jobs I worked. But, I mean, he's, he, he can, he's the owner. Yeah. You know, um, and, and I think even here you have the right to do that. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think so, right? This was in a time when we didn't have Google and Google reviews and maps. A lot more humans. Yeah. A lot more word of mouth and, yeah. you know, didn't, uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It was easier to, to be real. Yeah. Easier to bullshit. Yeah. Yep. Lovely. It's just a bit buttery with my skin. I think I need something more, more topazy for my coloring. Yeah. Okay, have you got Cosmopolitan there? Well, page 42, you see Burt Reynolds? Well, there's a girl standing behind him looking at James Kahn. That sort of color. Mm, lovely, all right, I'll be in at 11. Oh, Polly, I've got to check the laundry. Could you keep an eye on reception for me? Sure. Polly, where are Mr. Faulty? I don't know, what's oh, the matter? I have money for him. Uh, he went on horse, but big secret. <laughs> oh my God. It's just like, in uh, Brothers Grimsby, when they find Sebastian, because they put a big fucking sign yeah. on there. Oh my God, this oh. is gonna end great. Yes, yes, he's gonna end beautifully. Good afternoon, Miss Gatsby. Good afternoon, Miss Tibbs. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. First they give me a room without a bath, then there's no laboratory paper. Would you like some of us? Hello. There's no paper in my room. Why don't you check these things? That's what you're being paid for, isn't it? We don't put it in the rooms. What? Well, we keep it in the lounge. <laughs> in the lounge? I'll get you some. Do you want plain ones or ones with our address on it? Address <laughs> on it? How many sheets? How many are you going to use? Manager! Well, just enough for one? Tell me. Yes. 
I've never met such insolence in my life. I come down here to get some laboratory paper, and she starts asking me the most insulting, personal things I've ever heard in my life. I thought she wanted writing paper. I'm talking to you, what? What? <laughs> Are you deaf? I said, I'm talking to you. I've never met such insolence in my life. She said, people use it in the lab. Yes, yes, she then thought... she starts asking me the most... No, 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 please, listen. No, no, please, please. About, I can explain. About. No, no, you see, she thought you wanted to write. Wanted a fight? I'll give her a fight, all right. <laughs> Wanted to write on the paper. Why should I want to write on it? God. I'll have some sent up to your room immediately. Manuel? That doesn't work either. What do you say? <laughs> Turn it on. What? It on. I can't read that. I need my glasses. <laughs> They're on your head, Mrs. Richards. I've lost them. I've got, I can't read a thing without Excuse them. Excuse me. Now, I have them this Mrs. morning Mrs. when Richards. I was buying the vase. Yes. Oh, oh, my on God. Your head. What? On your head. On your I'm sorry about that, Mr. Uh, Manuel asked me to give this to you. What? Oh, thank you, Polly. Polly, not a word to the dragon, eh? The dragon. Oh, Manuel, get some blue paper, muchos, for 22. Are you blind? They were on my head all the time, didn't you see? Yes. Didn't God give you eyes? Yes, but I don't use them because it wears the batteries out. Good evening, Terry. You like uh, Caballero Rusticana, Terry? Oh, I've never had it, Mr. Forty. <laughs> you in a good mood, Mr. Forty? Had a little bit of luck on the GGs, Terry. Uh, not a word of the trouble and strife. Eh? Oh, I did it my way. <laughs> Damn, Frank Sinatra, you make me feel so young. Rubbish. You seem very jolly, Basil. Hmm? You seem very jo jolly? Yes, jolly, sort of happy. Oh, happy, yes, I remember that. No, <laughs> well, you look happy to me, Basil. No, I'm not, dear. All that <laughs> dancing about, singing and rubbing your hands. No, just my way of getting through the day, dear. Your yeah, Samaritans were engaged. <laughs> okay. I thought maybe you were in love. <laughs> Only with you, light of my life. Had a bit of luck or something. Yes, he did, Mrs. Forty. The horse is with you. No, nothing. You always say, Mr. Forty, but I learn. What? I learn, I learn. No, 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 no. I no. get better. No, 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 no you don't. I, I do understand that. <laughs> I know nothing about the horse. Which horse I know nothing? My horse, Nitwit. Oh my Your God. horse, Nitwit. Dragonfly. It won. Yes, I know it won too. What? I put money on for you. You give me money, I go to betting shop. Yes, I know. Why you say I know nothing? <laughs> a horse, Nitwit or Dragonfly? Dragonfly, that isn't a horse called Nit. You're the Nitwit. What is with Nit? It doesn't matter. Look, it doesn't matter. Oh, I could spend the rest of my life having this conversation. Please try to understand before one of us dies. I'm going to forget everything you know about Nitwit. No, no. Dragonfly, yes. Eventually, at the end. No, 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 forget it now. Now? Well, pretend you forget. Pretend? But don't say anything to anyone about <laughs> the horse. So. I know that. You tell me that this morning. I'll do it again. <laughs> yes, sir. Richard. The fatal accident? He's had some money stolen. Oh, Mr. Forty, I tell Polly. What? Oh, that's all right, but don't tell anyone else. Believe me, you know nothing. Basil, you've got to help me handle this. She's in a frightful state. I can't get a word in edgeways. She's had 85 pounds taken from her room. I've said we'll search every one, but she insists that we send for the police. What do you do with someone like that? It just keeps on. Mrs. Richards, how very nice to see you. Are you enjoying your stay? There's no need to shout. I have my hearing aid on. Oh. And Mrs. Richards, I've Finally. explained to my... I've just been up to my room. Eighty-five pounds has been taken from my bag, which I had hidden under the mattress. Oh, yes? It's a disgrace. I haven't been here a day. What sort of staff do you employ here? Mrs. Rich. If you knew anything at all about running a hotel, this sort of thing wouldn't happen. Oh, well, my God. what have you got to say for yourself? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I haven't got it turned up enough. Basil. Does it come away? Did you bang your head? Yes, yes. Oh, dear. Let me have a look. You better go and lie down before something else happens. Shut Don't you call the police? We will the moment we've searched the room. Yes, I know. Try not to speak. Is this a piece of your brain? <laughs> on the stairs? Oh, well. Don't stop when you get to the basement. Keep straight on. Give my regards to the Earth's core. And if you give us any more trouble, I shall visit you in the small hours and put a bat up your nightdress. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is glorious. Oh, my God, dude. Yes. <laughs> and you know what? Dude. I'm going to say something very controversial about this. What? <laughs>
Oh, God. Oh, man. Don't cancel me for that. Yeah, don't. <laughs> that it's almost worth staying alive for, isn't it? It's nice to share a moment like that, isn't it? It's what marriage is all about. I know, I read it on the back of a matchbox. <laughs> Seriously, Sybil, do you remember when we were first manacled together? We used to laugh quite a lot. Yes, but not at the same time, that's all. <laughs> no, that's true. That was a warning. I could have spotted that, shouldn't I? Zoom! Mm. What was that? That was your life, mate. Oh, <laughs> sorry, mate. That's your lot. That's it. Back to the world of dreams. Yes, sir. <laughs> what are we going to do? Give it another 15 years? No, about the money. Do you think. Oh, should... she's left it in her room or dropped it or eaten it or something. We'll get Manuel to go through the room. Uh, Polly can check the lounge. Wait a moment. I saw Polly with some money just now. Well, there you are. It was quite a bit, too. She was counting it in here. Oh. Well, it's probably hers. No, she's been very short lately, Basil. I'll ask her. Well, you can't. You can't just ask her like that, Sybil. Well, why not? Well, it would be, be terribly rude asking someone if money is theirs. So that would be, be so embarrassing. Rubbish, Basil. Hello, 40 Towers. Polly Sherman, yes, certainly. I'll get her straight away. Hang on. Where's Polly? Polly, she saw you with the money. What? Simple. She saw you counting the horse. She's just coming to the window. Oh, hello, dear. Here she is. Found her in here. As, as I was just saying, Polly, uh, my wife would like to have a word with you about a slightly delicate matter. It's not delicate, Basil. Don't be silly. He thinks it's embarrassing for me to ask you about that money I saw you with earlier on in the office. I wondered if someone had handed it in. Mrs. Richards has lost some. Money? In the office? Y you were counting it, <laughs> weren't you? Did oh, you? no! Oh, no, it's mine. Yours? I won it. You won it? On the horse, Mr. Faulty got a tip on. I hope you don't mind, I... No, 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 not at all. I didn't know you bet on the horses, Polly. Oh, I don't. Only I was in the town and I passed the betting shop and I thought, well, why not? Well, why not indeed, eh? Jolly good question, eh, dear? Well, <laughs> you didn't let me put something on, really. Realise how much we would have won? 75 pounds for a five pound steak, still. Those were the odds, were they, Basil? Yes, that's right, dear. 14 to 1. I listened in on the wireless just to make sure it had triumphed. Enjoy your winnings, Polly. Thank you. Polly? Yes, Mrs. Ford. What was the name of the horse? The name? I've gone blank. Bird brain. <laughs> oh, no, no, that came in third. Uh, fish wife. What? <laughs> no, no, not fish. Small. Flying tart. No, no, it, it got off to a flying star. And its name? Dragonfly. Oh my god. What a production. Oh my god. What a production. Wow. That was the the best game of charades ever. <laughs> Second to none. Oh my god, dude. Quit while you're ahead. Yeah. Find out the money on that horse was yours. You know what I'll do, Basil. The sun back on first. Tie's a bit bright, isn't it, Major? What? For a memorial service? Oh, I didn't like the chap. Not clothes. <laughs> Know what I mean? Uh, Cheers. Major, um, could you do me a favor? Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a bit shocked myself, old boy. No, 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 could you look after some money for me? I want it on that horse, and the uh, Sybil's a bit suspicious, you see. She goes through my pockets some nights. Oh, absolutely. Which horse? Uh, Dragonfly. When's it running? No, no, it ran today. I won that on it. Oh, well done, old boy. No, 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 could you keep it? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. No, 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 could you keep it just tonight? It's Sybil, you see. Secret. I thought of, yes, don't mention it. Thumbs the word. I'll I get it from you in the morning and bank it. Understood, old boy. Yeah. It's gone. It's yeah. gone. It's yeah. gone. It it is gone. But we got to see a neat how, trick. How, how, how much do you think that is back then? Oh man, well we did the seventy-five pounds. We did I remember when we did the Fred Dibna first video and it was like some inflation calculator. I think that was seventy-nine. 1979 when we did that, mm -hmm. and this was 1979 when this series came out. So seven thousand, then it's thirty-four thousand now. So, oh man, I just I just know that I because for that's how my mind works. Let me see. Let me just put this uh, seventy-five pounds. And was it 1979? Yeah, 1979. We're we're calculating this right now, or he is at, yeah. at least. Let me see if it pulls up anything. Yeah. Or we don't have time for that. All right. <laughs> or does it have? Um, $647 today. 647 today. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just in American dollars. British pounds, like, that's... But but a good amount of money. That could... No, that's pounds. Oh, it is pounds? That's pounds. Okay. 47 pounds. All right, cool. Today. There we go. That's <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah, that's a sizable amount today. Wow, okay. Yeah. Anyway, y'all... That's your math lesson for today. There you go. Good morning, Mr. Faulty. Good morning, ladies. Hello, Faulty Towers. What? I didn't say anything. <laughs> have you called the police yet? Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to take a telephone call. Have you called them yet? Yes, we have. 
When are they going to be here, then? As soon as possible. They're very busy today. Busy? Bloodshed at the Nelgwyn Tea Rooms last night. <laughs> Certainly, yes. This is the judge! <laughs> telephone for you. Here. Yes, what's Hello? this for? Uh, telephone calls? But I haven't made any. Oh, uh, cigarettes? I don't smoke. Hello! There's nobody there. Hello? Yes, I know she is. Yes, it's your sister. Well, what is it for? Um, Hello. Drinks? Me? We've been cut off. Hello? Look, you tell me and I'll tell her. Even the phones don't work. Your sister says you've had an offer of £87,000 for your house in Brighton. Eighty-seven? <laughs> Give it to me. Don't be a fool, Stephanie. Ninety-two seven fifty, I said, and I'm not taking a penny less. You tell him that. Why don't people listen? Well, let's scrub that 32p then, shall we? Let's enjoy ourselves. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, Major, Major! The money? The money I gave you last night? What, what is all this about? Well, you remember, I gave you some money, um, just before you went to that remembrance service. Remembrance service? Yes. I don't remember that, or what? Well, but it, it, was, it was for a chap you, you didn't like. Um, it was uh, one of those. One of those what? Well, pansy. Yes. Which one? No, 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 no. <laughs> you were in your best suit. Was I? Oh, yes, of course. Yes. I went to the theatre, of course. No, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. with Willie no. Atwell. Yes, with yes. Willie Atwell? Well, Marjorie Atwell, then. Marjorie, I always call her Winnie. Well, because she looks like Winnie. She's not black. Black? Churchill wasn't black. <laughs> I gave you 75 pounds. You put it in there. What do you mean by telling me you called the police? I, uh... You've done no such thing. Your wife's just told me you're still searching the rooms. Well, I thought she'd call them. You lying hound. Mrs. Richards. Go and call them now immediately. Yes, but Mrs. Look. Richards, we will. The moment we've searched... Right. The... I shall call them myself, then. Well, couldn't we just wait until... I've never seen such a place. All right, Mrs. Richards. Would you like to use the office phone? What? In here. Thank you. <laughs> Get the key and check her room. Right. I found it, Fordy. What? It was in my fucking. It was in my. Here, you see. Yes, it's up. It's I it. don't know how it got there. No, can I, because I, yes, I make a point of keeping my money in my hip pocket. Yes, please. What a word. Can I have it? Oh, yes, yes, the money. Yes, yes, of course. Good God, it's gone. Uh -huh. What's there? Isn't there? That's all. Oh, here it is. What's that? I found it, Mrs. Fawlty. The money. Oh, that's marvellous, Mrs. Richards. What? We found your money. Oh. The Major's found your money. Oh. What? Oh, thank you so much, Major. There you are. I said it would turn up. What is it, Basil? Bit of luck, eh, Fawlty? It's ten pounds short. Oh, dear. It's not! Ten pounds short? Oh, my God! Don't worry, we'll have a whip round! What do you think you're doing? I'll look at the missing ten pounds immediately, Mrs Richards. Where exactly did you find it, Major? In, in my pocket. In your pocket? Yeah, not this suit, in my new suit. Uh, would you mind if I popped up and had a look? I'll see if I can find it. Won't be a moment. Uh, it's uh, in with the... Um... Say it was in your pocket. Yes, can uh, yes, I, Mrs Richards, yes. can I... Yes. What was it doing in your can pocket? I, can I explain? Uh, you're not explaining anything. You're completely loopy. That is a march hair. Yes, I am completely loopy. Uh, that's why I gave him the money to look after. What? You see, there's been a mistake. Um, that money there is, in fact, mine. Yours? Yes, as the Major will confirm. You see, I was saving it up for a present for my wife, right? And uh, that's why I couldn't say anything just now. But I gave it to the Major last night. What rubbish? Well, uh, this is my money. No, no, the Major will verify what I've said. Hmm? Could you verify that, Major? What, well, what, oh, boy? Uh, uh, well, uh, the money I gave you last night. Uh, you know, for my wife's present. You remember, I gave it to you just before you went to the theatre. The theatre? This well, you, 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 you is... Remember? Oh! It, it hurts. Can you not keep up? Just. Oh my god. Uh, he's an idiot. Oh my god. If I'm he just... just wouldn't have gambled in the first place, he could have avoided this whole thing. Of course, she lost the money. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh my. What money I want on whispering? What are you saying? He says he won it on a horse. Won it on a horse? It doesn't matter. Do you remember me giving it to you? Please think. <laughs> What was the question again? He, he just surrounds himself with idiots. Oh my God! He doesn't Tell deserve the money. money. I know nothing. Nothing. You don't know, forget that. No, I forget everything. I know. Nothing. I cannot. You just tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her. No, I know nothing. I am from Barcelona. Any more of this rubbish? I'm going to finish my breakfast, and when I come back, I want the rest of my money. Give it to her, Basil. I can't find it. Give her ten from the till. Oh my God. Right! I'm gonna give her the shirt off my back, too. Nothing. I'm gonna send you to a vivid sectionist. Ow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Mr. Pulte. You got a Mrs. Richard staying here? Oh. Ah, well, only she bought this yesterday, asked us to deliver it. But the thing is, she left some money behind. Keeps it in this. 95 quid. Look. Lena found it this morning. Almost threw it in the bin. Lucky, eh? She around? I'll give it to her. Oh. Thanks, Mr. Foley. Goodbye. We found her money. Where? Well, she... It doesn't matter. Shut up. Shut up. Shut Ten up. That's shut your face. Up. Basil. Oh, my Just God. take the money. Put it in your pocket. Get an excuse to leave. Go to the bank. Put it in there. Don't talk about oh it. Oh my god. He's gonna lose this too. Yeah, yeah, we got like two, two minutes left in this. He's gonna lose it. I just- oh. Ah! But deal. Ten it's, just, it's, it's 95. Even if I give a 10, I'm still 10 up. Probably for the first time in my life, Harry. I'm, I'm winning. Your beautiful vase that you bought yesterday has just arrived. Now, remind me, the money that you have there, is it yours or mine? I told you, it's mine. You're absolutely sure? Yes, I am. Uh, but you're still 10 pounds short? Yes. Uh, Polly, uh, give Mrs. Richards this, would you? What's that? She's mine. What's that, Basil? <laughs> it's mine. What? <laughs> it's the money I won on the horse. Uh, uh, that's right, uh, Polly asked me to put it in the safe for her. <laughs> yes! So that's all sorted out. Um, this is your uh, money, Polly. Uh, this is your beautiful vase, Mrs. Richards. Polly, you did give me that money. You won it on that horse! <laughs> <laughs> Seventy-five pounds. I am sorry, Mrs. Richards. We must. Told you. Told you. Guys, it sucks, man. Basil just couldn't oh my keep God. his mouth shut. Uh, that's uh, just, that's, that's, uh, it's, it's infuriating. Uh, it's infuriating, uh, to say the least. But oh my God. As a comedic piece of sitcomery two thumbs up <laughs> for the aggravation that is the fact that Basil Faulty cannot keep his mouth shut two thumbs down <sighs> I just, it just hurts it just hurts it just yes. hurts but it's great it's great it's great uh, TV it is great TV so. great TV <laughs> yes <laughs> I would be reacting the same if I was watching this at home yeah oh my god this is Oh, oh my, god. my god. Yes. Wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your eyes, blow your nose, braces suck. Unplug and do something epic. And don't lose money. Yeah, don't. See you next Later. time. Later. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Let's do this.